Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And buongiorno. Today we're hiking to Pisa. If you're new to the channel, I'm Cynthia. I'm Scott. <laughs> and if you started with us from the beginning, we started this channel when we hike from uh, France all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. We cross all Spain in about 37 days, 30 days with a rest day. So today we're hiking from Luca to Pisa. And for this hike, we're using the Komoot app, which is a hiking app. They give you uh, routes all around you. The app says that it's about 26.2 kilometers. There's a little bit of elevation. So <laughs> that's why it says that it's gonna take us about eight hours. So we'll see what it looks like. We've never done it before. It's the first time. Also, if you've seen the Camino videos that we did, you know that I hiked it in a hiking boot. Well, today I'm wearing a brand new pair of topos and they have a wide toe. So I'm gonna give you a feedback on those at the end of the hike. Right now it's 56 degrees Fahrenheit and 14 degrees Celsius. And we are walking towards basically our starting point. This is the city of Luca. Here we are, this is the beginning of the trail, and this is the aqueduct. So we're basically leaving the city now. an hour in already we started out at 8 10 8 15 from our house yes yes we and, got on trail at 8 45 mm -hmm. and well i just fell so i busted my hand pick up your feet people <laughs> <laughs> don't be like me yeah so be careful after my knee Roadblock, we need to find an alternative route now. That's right here. Careful where you step. Now we are on the 
little heel. <laughs> This trail is not as marked as uh, the Camino de Santiago Frances, but they do have those little red and white marks. So, you know, but again, you have to keep a map with you because the, it's, it is not marked like the Camino, you know, with the arrows. going up. Okay, we are two hours in and this is the view we have right now from up here. Keep going. A lot of uh, rocks, a lot of uh, tree branches down. So, and thirty minutes. There you go. Pisa six hours. Yeah, six hours to Pisa. So, yeah, it's about right. Let's go. Yes, I really messed up my knee during that fall. <sighs> okay, time to keep going. So here, this part, you have to be careful because you're shading the road with some cars. Okay, we're back on the trail. Now is 11.30 and so we've been walking for over three hours now yeah. and we just switched from the Komoot app to the Google uh, map app because we just encountered a closed road so we don't want to risk it and the keep adding trail. more time. <laughs> so. Well, it looks like we're back on the trail simply because it's red and white. Uh, tree markings. Yes, we saw the markings again. Taking a quick break. It's almost noon. Yeah. And a little sandwich, water. Mm. We still have a long way to go. Right. And we keep going up. Definitely this hike, it's not a long, you know, super long hike, but uh, the incline is pretty uncomfortable. So I wouldn't recommend it for somebody that is having knee pain or hip pain or feet pain. So, you know, something to think about. An abandoned construction there. How are you feeling? Okay. It is one o'clock 
And this is the view right here. And we are still walking. We finally see some houses over there. But pretty much it's uphill and in the woods. Well, we just found a little oasis up here. After walking so much, my hair is a mess. So we're able to get some sodas, but there's a little store here and there are some picnic tables here, so. Little candy bar. <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick rest and keep going. two hours and 40 minutes left holy smokes and now we're going down trees down here. Well, we made it off the mountain. Oh my God, that was a bit down. Now, let's keep going. See if we can finish this. This is a very quiet town. <laughs> Seems like everybody's sleeping. It is already 3.15. So we've been walking for what, seven hours now? Mm -hmm. So we have another hour <laughs> at least to get to Pisa, we'll see. Okay. So we're still going. But we went over that. We're on the other side of that. Yeah, on the other side of that is Luca. So, oh my yeah. God, it's a beat down. Beat down. Look at these old aqueducts. When were those been there, Cynthia? Since when? 15. We saw a sign that says fi between 15, 16, something like that, and the 1600. So, wow. long time. Yeah. Pieces the, of it. There's the pieces still of it all along the way here. Pretty cool. We're out here where there's no trees, mm -hmm. and this is where the sun hoodies come in handy. It's in the high 70s, and the sun is beating down, so it's not too bad, but it's really yeah. not good for your skin. I can't really recommend these enough. They really help you out, and uh, I wouldn't go hiking without one. Mm -hmm. We're still going. We are outside the wall of Pisa. Almost there. 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes. And we made it. Uh, exactly uh, about nine hours. Yeah. Almost nine hours to get here. 
but it was tough definitely not recommended it's uh it's not a the terrain is bad um, my shoes were good though um they're super light <laughs> and they held up pretty good on all that rocky trail well now we are walking towards the train station because we're going to take a train back to Luca. Definitely was an adventure that we will not repeat. <laughs> uh, but hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>